Hey, what's happening everyone? Sir James from GamerFusion.com coming at you guys with another Black Friday deal video. And in today's video, we're here to take a look at what GameStop will be offering for Black Friday 2016. And of course, as always, if you guys want to check out the ad for yourself, I'll have a link in the description down below. And of course, if you're new to my channel, pretty much what I do is that we take a look at video game deals since I am a gaming channel. And since this ad is basically about GameStop, that's all we're going to be taking a look at is what video game deals we could find. And hopefully there is something for you so anyways if you guys are wondering when the sale will begin the offers are valid through thursday november 24th until sunday november 27th and the doors will be opened up on november 25th at 5 a.m in the morning just so you guys know all right, so to go ahead and start up on the very top here, we do have two different console deals. The first choice that we have here, which again, both of these will be $250. We have the Uncharted 4 PS4 Slim Bundle. And the deal that they're offering here is that either you can get The Last of Us Remastered or the Ratchet and Clank game included with this particular bundle. So you have a choice between one of those two games along with the Uncharted 4 that comes with the system. Or the other deal that they have uh, appears to be one of the limited edition Xbox One consoles which comes in a, I believe in a green color tone for Gears of War 4. Again, for $250 as well. And of course, we have our major doorbuster deals right here in the dead center. The most popular one that was last year, which is something that I got, is the GameStop Funko Mystery Boxes. It's about $20. You get a uh, basically one out of five special pops. Um, the gold ones are basically the main ones everyone's trying to buy. It's usually like one per customer or two. Um, but again, this was like the major sell, uh, major highlight that everyone's going crazy for since last year. So those will be back again, of course, and more than likely, I'll try to get one. We have some other nice collectible deals. This is actually one that I'm interested in, getting something like this for my dad, which is a Stanley Steel 30 ounce. Uh, these are normally $30 each, so quite expensive. So to get it for 10 bucks, I think is a very good deal. They do have some bundles here or some minor deals. So for example, for in the $10 price range, we have Batman Arkham Knight, Mad Max, and the Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. Of course, we have the new gold controller coming out, so that, of course that's going to be full priced. And some $20 select games that we have is Mortal Kombat XL, Doom, and A Dying Light, the following. Taking a look on page two here, we do have a couple other Xbox One deals. We have the Minecraft Edition going for $250. Or they have the standard white Xbox One model with Gears of War 4 going for $300 instead of the $250 like we saw with the previous one. Here are some other deals going on in the center portion. Not too much that I could see. Uh, maybe the Witcher 3 Wild Hunts. Um, that's a really good one. That's the complete edition. So you're looking at endless hours of enjoyment, a lot of activity to do in the game. So if you're looking for an RPG type of game, then the Witcher 3 will be a good choice. Or another fun one, of course, is Dark Souls 3. That will be going for about 20 bucks. And of course, they also have the uh, Flash Black, the, and they also have, and they also have the Flashback Classic Atari games, which will be available for both the PS4 and the Xbox One, going for about five dollars off. Which they currently have a Volume One and Volume Two, so again, that will be fifteen dollars as well. But that's all I see for this page. Moving on over to the next page, here are some other minor deals. Again, there's some, there's a lot of games here that you can get for cheaper, especially at places like Walmart and Best Buy. So the deals for GameStop aren't relatively the best. I mean, there's a couple of deals here and there, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, so you have $20 off for some of the newer titles, like some of the sports games, Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Madden 17, and so forth. Uh, other deals such as Recore, which is a game that I'm definitely interested in getting for Black Friday, and some action figures that will be on sale. They do have a minor sale for some accessory packs here, which I've seen for 50% off over at Toys R Us, cheaper over there, and a minor sale for some of the themed uh, controllers, such as the Gears of War 4 JD themed controller. And again, just a minor sale for some toys and accessories. Again, nothing too major here. They do have a $25 off for selected games such as Gears of War 4 and Far Cry Primal. 
Um, here's a decent deal right here. This is the Batman the Telltale series. So if you haven't played that, it's actually really, really good. And they're going to have that on sale for about $15. So it's half off the original price. Really good deal. Of course, Borderlands, the Handsome Jack collection, is always on sale. And of course, they have Homefront. Other nice titles here, we have the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, really fun fighting game. And of course, Rocket League as well, for those of you who want the physical copy. Actually, this is the collector's edition, so you might get some extra goodies in there. Also a really fun game. Now, in terms of the pre-owned deal, this is where you're probably going to get the majority of your uh, money's worth, is that they have a 3 for $20 deal. So these will be games that are going to be priced at uh, under $20 or $10 each. You have to kind of double check on that as Black Friday appears. But you can get games like, you know, the original Titanfall, Gears of War, The Evil Within, Lego Movie, Where We Play, FIFA, Assassin's Creed Unity, Watch Dogs, Sunset Overdrive, Tomb Raider, the Dragon Age Inquisition, and of course, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, which is a really good game as well. So again, they do have that deal going on. And of course, some pre-owned items as well. So save $10 on a pre-owned Xbox uh, One controller. Uh, they have a Kinect on sale as well, for those of you who are interested in the Kinect, which for the most part, it's basically dead anyways. And of course, they also have the uh, used Xbox One for $219. Moved on over to the next page, and now a lot of you have always been asking me during my VR videos is what headset have I been using? This is the headset that I've been using right here. These are the Astro A40 Tournament Edition with the mix amp. These have interchangeable ear cups. You could customize them, and honestly, they're just really good. It's just one of my personal preferences. Uh, again, they are a little bit expensive. Keep that in mind, but these will be on sale for $50 less, so $200. Uh, which again, it's kind of a, a standard sell, so it's not too much in savings there. And of course, there is the PS4 bundle that we saw earlier. Other minor games that will be on sale just cause 3 for 20. We also have Deus Ex. Uh, let's see. I believe this is the newest one, the Mankind Divided. And Battleborn will be on sale for 10 bucks as well, which I don't know if many people still play this online. They have other games such as Star Ocean, which... If I could go over there without these popping up. Star Ocean will be on sale for $25, another game that I am interested in. They have Grand Theft Auto V, Overwatch, and they also have a free Baby Wilson figure when you buy Overwatch, which is normally a $5 figure, so not too bad. So if you like little collectibles and you want Overwatch, there you go. They do have a minor sale over here, $40 each. Some of the newer titles, like the um, Rise of the Tomb Raider, uh, this one is the Dragon Quest Builder. We also have the new F World of Final Fantasy. Other good deals such as the Metal Gear Solid Collection. Uh, this is the one, these ads keep popping up so there's no way for me to click these individually. Um, but the Metal Gear Solid basically contains the, um, the Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain and I believe all the downloadable content. So it's like the complete inbox edition for only $30 so not too bad. And they also have the Batman Return to Arkham for $30 as well. So that's uh, pretty much $20 less. And again, that's pretty much it in terms of that page. I'm going on going over to the page after that. So we do have a sale for Killing Floor 2, which actually comes out this week as I'm recording this video. So you can save $10 on that. Not too bad of a deal. We have some $10 games such as The Last of Us Remastered. If you have yet to play that, you have no excuse not to pick that one up. It's well worth the money. Uh, Ratchet and Clank as well. And of course, we have the Dragon Quest Heroes. Some $20 selections, we have the disappointing No Man's Sky, or based on the community I should say, Fallout 4, Minecraft, and uh, that's pretty much it over there. Uh, we do have some interactive toys that will be on clearance as well, such as the LEGO Dimension, and of course Skylanders. Skylanders is basically on sale everywhere for Black Friday. Another buy any three game for $20 deal, and this one's for the PS4 side. So again, the games here involve the Killzone Shadowfall, Far Cry 4, The Order 1886. If you haven't played this one, this is actually a pretty good game, but keep in mind it's a lot of quick time events. 
and there's not too much action so kind of keep that in mind but overall i enjoyed that one we have selected sports games batman arkham knight star wars battlefront dragon age inquisition Watch Dogs, assassin's creed unity and again middle earth shadow of mordor if you do have the new ps4 pro you could actually benefit from this game and use it with the upscale 4k and that's pretty much it and they have a pre-owned deal for a ps4 for 225 dollars Going on over here, we do have another minor sale, so they have some of the Legos on sale, or Mega Blocks, I should say, which involve Destiny and Call of Duty. Uh, they do have a minor sale, so they have the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Legacy Edition for 60 instead of 80. Um, Black Ops 3 is currently going at a high $35. Not sure why. And of course, they also have a sale for the Destiny Complete uh, Edition here, so which has the, the base game and all current DLC that's out for the game for $35. So if you've ever been wanting to jump into the game, it's actually not too bad of a deal. You're actually getting a better deal compared to those of us who've been playing since day one. Again, some minor collectibles on sale, gifts, uh, ideas for anyone who's looking for stocking stuffers like Star Wars Battlefront, some shot glasses. So uh, again, some pretty nice things there. Again, some minor sales here. Unfortunately, the HTC Vive is not going to be on sale. Very unfortunate. They could have benefited from that. Uh, they do have the Steam Link and Steam Controller on sale. And, of course, they also have the um, these Alienware console Steam machines, I should say, which aren't really that good, so kind of keep that in mind. If you're going to spend that kind of money, you just might as well build a custom PC. Just throwing that suggestion out there. And, of course, they also have an 85% off of PC download category as well, so you might want to look into the digital side after you get home doing your shopping. And, of course, they're going to have some of these uh, pretty cool uh, the Christmas collectibles that you can get hang on your tree. Uh, I picked up a couple last year, which I really liked, so more than likely I will pick up some of the newer ones that come out. I got some nice pokemon theme one, Mario, Zelda. Um, some really cool things here, um, some pop figures, uh, which are currently going to be at a standard price, same thing over here. So again, nothing really here is on sale, maybe except for the socks, and I think that's about it. So again, there's not too much of a major sale. And of course, you also have the new Nintendo 3DS for only $100, which you could find everywhere. So hopefully Nintendo sticks with a high demand on this one unlike the mini NES system that everyone's basically fighting about and resellers are taking advantage for. So again, this one's going to be everywhere, so hopefully they have a good enough stock on these, and hopefully you can get one either for yourself or maybe a family member. And again, not too much on this page at all, at least that I am noticing. Maybe a watch for the uh, Yokai watch, but that's about it. And of course, over here for last gen games, they also have you know a three for twenty dollar deal, and that's pretty much about it. And of course, they also have a three for thirty deal for some of the higher uh, popular titles. And I think that's about it. They do have a minor sale here: a buy two get one free on all pre-owned products, which will be for Friday and Sunday only. So that's a pretty good deal there. They do have an original model Xbox 360 for only 50 bucks, but if you have the extra cash, I recommend upgrading to the Xbox One so that we could also take advantage of the backwards capability and of course play the newer games that get released. And they also have the uh, PlayStation 3 Slim and of course the 360 Slim as well, which would be on sale, so the 360 would be about 100, while the PS3 is going to be about 120. And that's basically it. So what do you guys think about the ad? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, GameStop doesn't really have a lot of big things going on. The biggest thing, of course, is the doorbusters uh, deal with the mystery pop figures. And that's really about it. Uh, just a couple minor good deals that I've noticed for myself. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. But until then, I am Sir James from GamerFusion.com, where we empower your gaming.